Hi everyone, and welcome to Crazy Carrie's Craft Time. Everybody is looking for those mermaid tail blankets this year. So every little girl wants one for Christmas, so it's the best time to figure out how to make one. So I'm going to show you that today. First, I bought a meter and a half of fleece. It's on sale right now at Fabric Glam for 50% off, so it's a good time to buy it. You can get a regular kind of thin type fleece, um, or you can get the thicker one as well. Whatever you'd like to make from a thickness perspective is fine. And I wanted to show you something else I picked up, which is really great. And you don't have to do it, but this was just to give it a little bit of color and accent. Is this nice sparkle seaweed looking material that I'm going to use as part of the pattern for the mermaid tail. And I got this in the scrap area of fabric land because it was already cut. So you, you'll find a lot of glitter scraps in the um, bargain bins of fabric land. That'll be good for the use of this. So I'm going to show you one that I made for my daughter, which is this one here. So I did a turquoise fleece. And you can see it's actually um, a whole fleece inside and out. So both sides are fleece. And then I just put the glitter fabric on the um, top part. And then I left the bottom, which is the actual fin tail, um, plain turquoise fleece. Okay. So this one is for about an eight-year-old little girl. And I made it a little bit bigger. I little, did a little cinch at the top as well, just to make it kind of the top of the mermaid outfit for here. And um, this one is a little bit big, but it'll give her time to grow into it. We're going to make one today for her cousin. So it's going to be a little bit smaller than that. But you can see I've already started um, to outline the one that I've done uh, for my daughter. So this one I drew by hand, um, the fin shape at the bottom here, which you can see. So I just used a Sharpie. Now, <clears throat> the fleece material that you want to use there's usually a good side and a not so good side. But for fleece, the most part, it looks the same. But you can tell a little difference. It might be a little bit brighter or a little bit softer on one side. So whatever side looks better to you, that should be on the inside. Because what we're gonna do is sew all the way around it and then turn it inside out. So your inside becomes your outside, which is, should be the nice side. And that way too, if you're drawing on the um, not so nice part, it doesn't matter because that's gonna be in the inside of your tail anyway. For the sparkle fabric, because I'm only putting it on one side, which is the side that would be going down the front of them, I would be cutting this in the same shape as the tail, um, but ending right before the fin starts. So right when you start to curve out is how long I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be putting that in the inside as well, because when we turn it inside out, we want the shiny part to be on the inside. Outside, sorry. Okay, so let's get started on the next steps. sparkly fabric and I'm gonna lay that down on the inside it doesn't matter which side you put it on and that'll just be the front for you and you can have it extend over a bit because we can always cut the excess it's better to have more of an overhang than it is to have run out of material so we just want to make sure we lay it flat and if you have some straight pins like I do here it just helps pack things together so they don't move when you're using the sewing machine. So we're going to roll it back up, cover it up, and make sure you haven't lost and keep checking to make sure your fleece is lined up together. So you're just sandwiching in the sparkly fabric into it. Just make sure everything's lined up, everything's together, and then we're just going to pin the side. Hold everything in place while we sew. Now the direction of your pins usually matters if you're sewing downwards, which we're going to be sewing down this way. Um, so as we sew, we pull the pins out. 
because you don't want to run over any of these with your sewing machine needle because it'll snap in half. So just pin along the sides like so. You've cut your tail out, so now it's looking like this. I don't know if you can have backed up enough, but basically you have the outside, you have your fin. So we're ready to sew. Now, for the life of me, I can't find my purple thread. I'm pretty sure I bought some, but um, so we're gonna use teal because it goes with our sparkly fabric. And it's the one I sewed my daughter's tail with. So it's going to have to do. All right, we are going to start on the top right. You can see your pins are going to be pulling them out. So usually I keep my little handy dandy pins are close. So I can pop them in as I pull them out. Uh, to my right, if you're right handed. I have my foot pedal underneath and I am ready to walk. Oh! The other thing I was going to tell you, sometimes I like to do a fancy zigzag, so I turn my zigzaggy thing up to C, not to C almost, well, actually, yeah, C is good. So we're going to sew it all the way down one side, along the bottom of the swirly tail, and back up the other side. And leave a little bit at the top, so don't sew it completely closed. Or do we want to? Yeah, sew it all the way up. Let's do it. So we stop here for a minute, well, not a minute, but make sure your needle goes in. And then you lift up your pedal, turn the fishtail around, drop your pedal, and continue on. So any sharp edges like that, you're not going to be able to turn your fabric fast enough, so it's always good to stop, lift, turn the fabric, drop, and then keep on going. Crazy carry. too hard because you can end up popping your seam right through and you don't want to see your messy seam. seam, 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 seam. So you want enough out that you can hook so it looks like kind of like a point there. And with this side. that 
piece done. And then we have our beautiful shimmery fabric over top. Ooh. I haven't done the edge yet, so we're gonna do that first. I'm gonna tuck the piece in. I think I forgot that piece. That's what happens when you win it. We gotta curve the edge in so it looks a little bit cleaner. So we're gonna do that. First, I'm gonna pin the edge just to hold it in place. Bop. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So you're gonna curve it under so you can't see the rough edge. take this off because you need to be a narrower platform so that you can just curve around here. Here we go. Much better. Yes, we're good. Okay, so I'm going to go to the edge a little bit. I'm just gonna take, don't sew it together, make sure you have them separate. And we're just gonna do a little stitching, not the zigzag, so we're gonna put it back where it was. A little stitching just to join it, bunch it up a little bit here. Oh yeah, so make sure you're in the middle. So, mm -hmm. I do have a tape measure. I'm just lazy. Lazy and crazy. There you go. Drop your needle. There we go. Bunch, bunch, bunch. Up, up, up. And then I'm gonna go back. And there you have it. A little sensi cinch at the top. Just cut any weird threads that you might have done. Only me. Yours would probably be fine. There you have a mermaid tail a blanket for a little, little four year old girl. Ta da! Okay, with the leftover fabric I had from our niece, my daughter's cousin's um, fish tail, mermaid tail, I made a little dolly one. Da, 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 da. So I did the same thing, except this time I actually pinned the right direction. So you can see I'd be pulling the pins out from bottom, uh, top to bottom. So as I'm sewing along, I'm pulling, pulling, pulling. So when I turn this time, I can pull the pins out as I go all the way around until I get to the top again. I also pinned in my shiny layer in between, as you can see, and uh, so we're good to go. And you do the exact same step all the way around. You probably want to do the edge before I did, um, before you turn it inside out. Um, so we'll do a little lesson learned. So maybe it's good to start with the dolly version first because it doesn't have to be perfect because it's for a dolly. When it's for your daughter or a relative, you want theirs to look much nicer. Lesson learned, tips and tricks, start with a dolly one in the right direction and hem it, the edge, before you turn it inside out. Crazy Carrie, at least I learned from my mistakes. Thank you. Bye.